Hello and welcome back to Jason's Macintosh Museum. This is part two in the video series on the Macintosh Portable from 1989. And now that the portable has been reassembled, we're going to start it up and show the system software and also demonstrate some old versions of Microsoft Word and Excel. So with the Macintosh Portable, just like the, uh, its successor, the PowerBook 100, there is no power switch. Once the battery and charger are connected, you simply press any key on the keyboard to start it up. Okay, well the Macintosh Portable is now up and running, so let's have a look at the system software. So first of all, what version are we running? We're running System 6, 6.0.8. And notice we only have one megabyte of memory in this portable. Uh, that's because even though I do have a memory expansion card for this, um, there must be some defective RAM on it because the Mac will give you the sad Mac and chimes of death when you try and boot it up with the memory card installed. So as a result, we only have one megabyte of memory and we have to therefore run System 6 because System 7 requires at least two megabytes of memory. But just to illustrate how clear the LCD screen is on the portable, you can see that even as I'm dragging windows around and, and moving the mouse pointer around, notice that the mouse pointer does not disappear. It doesn't go away uh, and then come back when you move it around. And this was a problem that a lot of LCD screens had at the time. But because the portable used an active matrix LCD screen, that problem did not occur. And you can see that there is no, there are no artifacts um, that occur in areas of high contrast. And the screen really, it is probably it was probably the best LCD available on any system at the time. Remember, this was 1989, so it was certainly very high tech. So here's the control panel in System 6. We have uh, all the various settings here. We've got the uh, uh, RAM cache and date and time, which I haven't set, incidentally. <laughs> but notice there is actually a special section for the portable. And in that, you can set such things as the screen contrast level, you can change the power saving settings, in other words, how long the portable remains idle for before the hard disk and system power off. And you can also select to have the portable remain on at all times when connected to the AC adapter. We also have the RAM disk that we can set and the RAM disk will actually maintain its contents when the Mac is powered off, provided you have a charged battery, of course. We can set the internal versus external modem automatic wake up as well and that's about it for the portable settings there the other portable spe specific application is the battery gauge which indicates the amount of charge in the battery and also indicates whether the laptop is charging or not and if it's charging you'll see the lightning bolt icon appear up here and you can also put the system into sleep mode directly from here now, that was another advantage to the, to the portable, one of its um, very useful features. It had an instant on, instant off sleep mode. <clears throat> and what would happen is that the CPU would shut down, but because the portable used static RAM, it could keep the contents of memory set, even though the whole system had basically shut down. And that was very useful because if you put the portable to sleep, the battery life would go from several hours all the way through to, in theory, several weeks or even over a month, if I remember correctly. So to illustrate that, I'll put the portable to sleep now, and you can see that it is immediately
turned off. And all you have to do to wake it up is press any key on the keyboard and you're right back where you were. And you can see that everything is now back to how it was, although the hard drive hasn't spun up, it will only spin up when required. So if I open the, the hard disk in the system folder, you just heard the hard drive spin up there and uh, come back to life. Okay, well that's about all we have on the special applications for the portable. The rest of it is standard System 6. So at this point, let's demonstrate an old version of Microsoft Excel. So here we have Microsoft Excel version 1.5. And it's worth noting that Excel actually came out first for the Macintosh. It was actually a Macintosh application initially. And it was only after that that it was actually ported to Microsoft Windows, which is uh, quite odd. So here's Microsoft Excel. So it's your standard uh, spreadsheet. So let's see what we can do here. So we've got the various options here for paste function, all the different functions that we've got. Not as many, of course, as you'd find in the modern version of Excel, but I'm sure that uh, all the features people would use even today would uh, all be in here. Go to find different formats for numbers. We've got the different uh, percentages, dates. Yeah, it's all it's all there. Oh, bold italic. That's all. That's all you've got there. You can set the borders. Nice. Oh, yes, yeah. Obviously not as um, polished as newer versions of Excel, but all the functionality is is still there. You can also set uh, set up a database within your spreadsheet. Various other options. <laughs> now, I must admit that is a uh, interesting feature, because of course, in the old days when um, PCs weren't as fast as they are now, and especially when they didn't have as much um, grunt in their um, floating point units, on often on <clears throat> large spreadsheets, it was often the uh, the norm to turn off automatic calculation and then recalculate your spreadsheet only when you wanted to, <laughs> so it wouldn't recalculate after every value change. But I think these days that is uh, certainly not an issue anymore. <laughs> Calculate now. <laughs> Macros as well, that's that's quite good. So um, I'm wondering though, do we have the option to make a graph? I don't think we do. Let's put some values in. put some values in, so can we graph this? That's surprising, it doesn't appear that we can. That's interesting, obviously, you can't, now that, that's very unusual. I would have thought that even the old version of Excel would have some kind of graphing capability. But I would say, in fact, come to think of it, um, Microsoft had their own program, Microsoft Chart, which handled the graphing. So I would say that at the time, they didn't bother to implement that functionality into, into Excel. But um, no, that's interesting. There is no, um, no option for, um, for making a chart. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Hmm. So this is Microsoft Excel 1.5 from 1988. So what we'll do now is, let's get out of there, and we will have a look at an old version of Microsoft Word from around the same time. So here's Microsoft Word. From 1989. So again, these are the applications that would have been running on the portable when it was new, and actually being used in, in real life. <laughs> So, this is just a standard... Oh, I can't spell. Oh. It's hard having to reach over to use the keyboard. 
<laughs> so what can we do with this? Uh, well, we can oh, we can make it bold and uh, ooh, shadow. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Adds a bit of a uh, bit of pizzazz. Hmm. Not bad. I've got the different fonts. Hmm. Interesting that there's no um, there's no ruler that I can see unless you have to turn that on somehow. Again, the options are fairly limited, but for basic word processing, I'm sure it would work perfectly well. Full menus. What does that give us? Ah, okay. That give ah gives us the full. Ah, that's better. Now we've got uh, ah. There we go. Show ruler. Aha, uh -huh, that's better. Now I can do. Now I can do that. Much better. Different fonts, headers, footers, graphics table. It's 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 got quite a lot of functionality for its uh, for its time. Find a replace spelling, word count. Hmm. Let's do a spell check. Oh, <laughs> it can't find the dictionary. No, well, oh, no, can't do that. <laughs> Uh, other than that, just a standard word processor, really. So this is Microsoft Word version 4 from 1989. Hmm. Okay, well, I think at this point, we'll... um. We'll shut the portable down. So that was a demonstration of the Macintosh portable from 1989. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.